skincare is not one size fits all. At Image, we rely on skincare professionals and clinically proven ingredients to create solutions that adapt to your lifestyle. But don't take it from us. Just ask the 30,000 plus professionals in over 60 countries across the globe who trust Image Skincare to deliver when it comes to results. And while we got our start with skincare pros, we think it's about time you got to know us better too. Tune into SkinFluence to hear straight from industry professionals on how to keep your skin healthy, radiant, and resilient through every stage of your vibrant life. Hello and welcome back skincare aficionados to SkinFluence, a podcast where we chat all things skin. I'm Jacqueline Hill and with me today is my co-host Jana Rohner. Hi Jana. Hello Jacqueline. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you again. I don't think I've seen you since Vital C so it's been a little bit. I think so. We've done a lot. We've had a launch. Yes. We've launched new products. Yes. And now we're back talking about one of our favorite subjects, devices. Absolutely. So are you a device person? Do you love devices as part of your age later regimen? I love devices. You know me. I love to exfoliate. I love to do anything I can to get all that dead skin off. And when you've got great products and devices, I think it's a winning combination. So I'm super excited. Yeah, I'm definitely excited. When I owned my med spa, we used a lot. Of course, good skincare first yes. is the foundation. Um, but the devices can just help to take you to the next level. So. They really can. And, you know, with my rosacea, I'm uh, a very yeah. big fan of IPL and of course. just kind of some maintenance to keep everything looking as fresh and young as possible. So Absolutely. I'm excited about today. Yeah, that's the goals. Well, we have an expert that we are bringing on to talk all things devices. So today we're going to be chatting with Dr. Sherry Sperling. And Dr. Sperling is a board-certified dermatologist who specializes in medical, cosmetic, laser, and surgical dermatology for adults and for children. So she practices in Florham Park, New Jersey. Dr. Sperling is a fellow of both the American Academy of Dermatology and the American Osteopathic College of Dermatology. Dr. Sperling's goal is to help people achieve their potential through spectacular skincare, and she's happily married and the mother of three children. So welcome with us, Dr. Sperling. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me on for today. We are so excited to have you here. Too bad you're not in sunny South Florida with us, but that's okay. I wish. I have the snow coming down right now in New oh, Jersey. Oh, so. <laughs> no. Well, we're, we're going to send some sunshine your way. And like, hopefully for the listeners okay. today, they'll, uh, they'll become very enthusiastic about uh, the rays that we're going to send to them. Yes, absolutely. So we're just going to dive right in because this is your expertise. So do you want to tell us a little bit about how you decided to get into the cosmetic side of dermatology and and why devices? Like, why are they such a big part of your anti-aging, looking beautiful care for your patients? Sure. So like you said, I'm a board certified dermatologist and my training was a lot of medical dermatology, rashes, acne, skin cancer, things like that. Um, and, you know, we did have some training with cosmetics, but I really fell into in love with the cosmetic world. And it's really about making patients feel good in their own skin, feeling confident and happy, whether it's a child with acne who's suffering and we have to treat them medically and then they have acne scars and you want to correct the scars with lasers or other devices. Or if it's a mom, you know, after having her children or <laughs> sure. and, you know, they want a little pick me up or someone older, whatever the case may be, everyone has their reasons, but you know, people want to feel good and they look good. And, you know, this day and age with COVID and zoom, everyone's looking at themselves on their computers at home and they're looking and staring at their faces and zoom seeing, has oh, been great what? for business you know? <laughs> it has but yeah. it's a microscope Boy, yes. it is a microscope without that filter yes exactly um so it's it's a great you know it's interesting it's fun you know sometimes i feel like i'm an artist for the face um but it's a people really appreciate it 
No, absolutely. And speaking of being an artist, when you kind of think about the innovation when you got out of school versus where you are now, talk to the... Talk to us a little bit about how you've seen lasers kind of transform, and what are you the most excited about today? So, you know, there's always growth and more developments and new treatments that are on the market. Um, you know, we started in the practice with cool sculpting, for example, back in 2016 when I opened my practice. Okay. Uh, and that has grown tremendously. Um, body sculpting has, is one of the biggest uh, drivers when people come in for asking for body um, for body sculpting. In terms of face, there's lasers, there's microneedling, PRP, which is platelet-rich plasma, tons of devices, different lasers that go down deep to help the surface of the skin, the texture, the tone and just anti-aging. So let's talk, I, I like that cool sculpting yeah, one. Let's too. talk a little bit more about what it is, um, what it's designed to do, and what is the recuperation for that? What, if I came in, could I expect from one treatment versus multiple treatments? Sure, so cool sculpting is freezing your fat, essentially. Oh gosh. I love this. Oh gosh, <laughs> that, that could be a long process for I was some of us. Say, I got a lot of fat to freeze, let's go. <laughs> So it's really, yes, we all have it, but it's really for the stubborn areas. Okay. So it could be for your abs. Um, you know, everyone is different, and that's why it's important to come get evaluated with a consult to see what is appropriate for you. So you may come in with a stomach, but then your love handles, let's say, are part of that, and that's another great area to treat that's going to really give your whole waist a new look. Um, but these are for troublesome areas, you know, people who are within their target weight. Okay, and so it's not a weight loss solution. It's it's, it's a, it's a weight targeted, loss. right? Correct. So I really encourage everyone to keep working out, eating right. I like this that. Is another way that could help get your body back into shape where you want it to be. So essentially what we do is we, after marking out the areas, there's different applicators and different sizes of applicators, which we use on the body. So we mark out where we're going to treat. So we clean the area and then we apply the applicator onto the skin. And with the newest device, the Cool Sculpting Elite, which we have in my practice, um, it free. So you feel like a numbness for the first two, three minutes, like a little tingling. Okay. And cold. And then you don't really feel much for the rest. So it's 35 minutes for some, t for some areas, some areas are 45 minutes. Some could be a little longer, depending on the area that you're treating and it freezes the fat. So after the machine is taken off, you have a two minute massage and that's sometimes the most uncomfortable, um, the most uncomfortable time for the patient because they feel the massage and it's going deep into the skin. Um, but afterwards, you could have a little swelling. Sometimes you have a different sensation. If you touch your skin, it may feel a little different than other areas of your body. And that comes back within a few days to a few weeks even. And then you see over the next two to three months, this, this you see a, a decrease in the fat in the area. Wow. And so just yeah. one treatment is all you need of that? Or do you still, after two or three months, you do additional treatments or you do more within that two or three months? So ideally, two treatments per area is okay. recommended. But some people could get away with one depending on the needs and what they're looking for and their body type. Some people could do one and be very happy. I always have people come back to be reevaluated, but I like to give I like to prepare and you know give the expectations right up front that they likely will need a second treatment to get the okay. optimal result. Sure. So after that two, three months to come in and to get further treatments and then you get even better results. So if we want to be Jacqueline and I beach ready, yes. we have to start come, now. We have to we <laughs> need to come to New Jersey now, don't we? Right. Because yeah. if, if June were hitting the beach, we can't think about this the beginning of June for June, right? We need to start thinking about it now. 
Exactly. This is the time to do it. That way you have your summer body all ready to go once the sun hits. Oh, I love that. So let's move up to the face. So if we want to get also our face ready for the summer, yes. get rid of some lines and wrinkles, uneven pigmentation, which direction are you going to move us for the laser? What is your what is going to be your go-to? So there's a few things I like to use. So depending also on the skin, uh, you have to be either it will be intense pulse light, okay. IP, or there's some lasers that help really focus on specific areas. So if someone comes in with diffuse sun damage, yeah. all these brown, we call them solar lentigines, yes, which are yes. sun. We all have them. It's from all the chronic sun damage from all the years in the sure. sun. If someone has one or two of them, I like to use a specific laser that really targets those spots and helps to lighten them and they can fade over time. If it's really diffuse on the whole face, IPL is a great way to go because that helps just kind of smooth out the whole face and makes makes it nice and, you know, regular softens everything. Um, tone and texture. I love it. And for those who say, oh gosh, laser, it sounds so scary. Well, how do you kind of talk to your patients about it isn't scary, it's super effective, you're going to get a beautiful result, and what is it going to cost to kind of do an IPL treatment? So I really, some people need hand-holding and sure, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Um And that's okay. IPL, for the most part, there's really not a whole lot of downtime. Sometimes right. with the brown spots, they can get a little crusty, sure. a little dark first, and then fall off. But it's really not that bad. One other laser I love to do is something called laser genesis. Okay. I love uh, that treatment. Yeah. So that, there's no downtime. Right. And so I really have to work with the person to see what downtime they want, how aggressive they want and what they're looking to accomplish. So the laser genesis is a great option that treats the whole face. It stimulates collagen to rebuild. It helps with the redness. It helps Love with it. the brown spots. It helps to just, you know, it gives you nice texture. It helps decrease the pore sizes on the face. And that has no downtime. That's amazing. Um, yeah. I yeah. love that they can combine or even customize not only for their condition, but how much downtime they're willing to have, how much, you know, so, and can they mix it with other things? Like if they're doing things like injectables or having Botox, is it okay to have filler and Botox and still put these lasers and lights on your skin? Absolutely. We, we very often mix the two together. Sometimes, again, some patients like to do it separately and kind of baby steps towards doing it all. Others right. are do it all today and get it done with. So there's an order and there's specific lasers that you want to do before or after the Botox or filler. So it depends on what it is. But if someone, for example, wanted to do laser genesis, we could do that. And then we could do Botox right after. Okay. That is I wouldn't, cool. Yeah. If it was someone with a laser with filler, you got to be a little bit more careful. I usually right. like to give you know, a little leeway, you know, a week or two in between filler and laser. And then how do you combine skincare products with, with these lasers? How does that work? I mean, with image, do you still have them on a regime? Do you alter it? What What is your viewpoint on that? Yes. I mean, everyone has to have some routine that they're doing at home. Yes. For sure. You can't expect to do one thing and it's going to be a miracle, miracle treatment. I mean, some of these are great treatments and work really well, but you need to help it along. So there are definitely things at home that I recommend patients getting in, in the office or out of the office and to have a routine that helps elongate the results. So your top three, if you had to pick like three skincare things, three yep. skincare things that you absolutely had to have. Yes. So my number one is sunscreen. Okay. As a most dermatologists will say <laughs> really, that it's the most important thing because it pro protects against photo damage, skin cancer, the brown age spots that you get. And you want, just in general, for sunscreen, you want to look for a sunscreen that has an SPF of 30 or higher. Okay. And, and that's every single day they have to use that? Yes. 
so it depends where what climate you're in. Okay. If you're in the Northeast and it's cold in the winter, I'm okay using a moisturizer with a sunscreen in it. Okay. But summertime, you need a specific sunscreen. All right. All right. So number one, sunscreen SPF 30. What's your yeah. number two? My number two, I would say, is vitamin C. Oh, that's our favorite here. <clears throat> we love vitamin C. That That is, if you, in our opinion, Jacqueline and I talk about, if you're going to choose one thing, you need a great vitamin C. Yes, I love vitamin C. It works as a powerful antioxidant. It repairs damaged skin cells, and it stimulates collagen. It smells yummy. Right. You put it on your face, you feel like this glow. And I, I love it. I love your vitamin C product. Oh, thank you. We do too. We <laughs> yeah. also love it here. It's definitely a cult favorite. So when people are talking about these, like how long do they have to use them? Because that's the question I yes. get all the time. Like, do I use vitamin C for a little bit just while I'm getting the treatments? Or is this something that's going to be ongoing? They have to do kind of long term for maintenance and repair and correction and prevention and all those things. I think this is a long-term yeah. thing. Too. It's part of your regimen. I, you know, I keep it next to my toothbrush when I brush my yep. teeth in the morning. I put my vitamin C on when I brush my teeth at night. I do my hyaluronic acid or retinol or the other new products I want to use. So it's part of your regimen. It maintains your skin. It helps prevent other more damage from occurring. Right. And so let's talk a little bit about devices at home. <clears throat> Are there any good devices at home? Besides maybe an exfoliating brush or something like that with your cleanser, anything that you think kind of accelerates what what you do at your clinic and do that at home? So besides the SPF, vitamin C, hyaluronic acid, there are some things you could use. I mean, I have patients that come in are very rough and aggressive with their skin. Right. Yeah. And, you know, you have to be careful because there's, a lot of things on the internet and in the stores yes. that sometimes cause more damage than good. And it could irritate the skin. We don't want to cause any infection or scarring. So you really want to be careful what you're doing. If people want to exfoliate at home, I'm okay with that. Okay. But once a, week, once a week is enough. That's all you really need. Um, so that's what I recommend. Very All cool. Right. So be careful with the devices at home. Don't just go on TikTok and see what they're doing on skincare TikTok and think that you can just do it at home. So um, that's that's nice to know. Make sure that you are working with the therapist. I have another question. When people are going into a dermatologist or a clinic to have these kind of treatments, is it okay if like a skin therapist, if an esthetician is doing the treatments or do they have to be performed by the doctor? What kind of questions should they be asking? That's a very good question. And it's a tricky one to answer because every state has its own rules sure. and regulations. Right. So I know New Jersey happens to be one of the stricter states that has to be a physician or a physician assistant or a practitioner. Um, they're stricter. So it depends on the state. You could go into New York and, you know, I don't know who's doing it for you. So but wherever you're going, you really want to make sure that someone knows what they're doing. I recommend seeing a board-certified dermatologist. So do we, um, yes. just like you. Yeah. Yeah. That is very important. And maybe for our listeners, what, what does it mean to be board-certified? It'd be interesting to kind of share with us why that is so important because we know it's important. Yes. We're in this, this, this you know, channel, but why is it so important? It's so important. We... To be a board-certified dermatologist, you have to go to medical school for four years. Yeah, okay. Then you internship, and then you do three years of dermatology residency where you're doing skin day in and day out, and you're learning everything there is, skin, hair, nails. And we know how to handle complications. Mm -hmm. We know how to maximize these treatments for the best effects, and I've seen nightmares of people coming in with damage done from other places where they didn't know how to handle what was done or the treatment was wrong. So there's lots of things, different skin tones, the darker the skin, you got to be careful sure. with what laser right. using. 
There's a lot of nitty gritty that we learn as board certified dermatologists. And, you know, we had to pass a lot of board exams. Um, the last one being to get your board certification, but we had to take a lot of exams on the way to get this diploma. No, and right. we're very proud that you made that effort. And um, as a female and a mother of three, I mean, congratulations. Yeah. Uh, Jacqueline Thanks. and I both have kids, and we're not a board-certified dermatologist. And, and we, uh, <laughs> we're, we're just struggling to keep, after 20 years in the skincare, to keep learning everything we can that is new. One of the things yeah. I'd like to ask you, I think, you know, for women of my age in my 50s, is the neck. I get the oh, face, yes. but talk to me about how, are, is there anything new with lasers and devices that I can use short of a facelift, which mm-hmm. I don't want to do, to kind of help that crepey neck skin? What do you suggest? Necks are difficult. I and know, I, they are. Yeah. Uh, so you're not alone there. Yeah. Uh, one of my favorite devices that we have in the office is Evoke. And what that is, it's a hands-free radio frequency device, and that helps to tighten the skin. So it could help, it, picture it as like earphones on your lower jaw line on okay. both sides. Mm-hmm. So that's one application. And then there's one that goes submental, like underneath your chin and the neck area. And that really helps to just tighten the skin. I like it. I, I like that. Evoke. Yeah. I, I've never, I don't really know that device, but I think I yeah. need to learn about. And is it spelled E-V-O-K-E? Yes, you got it. And there's zero downtime with it also. Oh, so I even love it. Better. Even that, better. Even better. So for all of you out there that have a little crepey neck or it's drooping just <laughs> a little bit, you need to go Evoke and find a board-certified dermatologist Absolutely. to perform that treatment. That's very exciting. Dr. Sperling, can you tell them a tiny bit about the difference? Like what? Radio frequency versus laser, like how? Great question. Yeah, how is how is that yes. different? Like, what are those different technologies so that they can know how to make sure that they're picking the right technology for the right concern? Right, it's a good question. So, laser is using light. Okay, it, you know, it's it's using light on a, a wavelength spectrum to focus on either whatever the Laser is using light to pick up pigment from the skin for the most part. There's different wavelengths and different energies that are used to treat specific um, specific things you're trying to treat. Okay, perfect, perfect. Well, I think the great thing is, you know, if you kind of think of of the overall approaching of of aging is kind of stair step. You yes. first start with skincare. Absolutely. Right? Where youth say sunscreen, vitamin C, and we love retinols here. I hope retinol you do too. And hyaluronic. We love retinols yeah. and hyaluronic. And then you yeah. probably step up to the lasers and then step up to evoke. evoke. Is that how it would go? And maybe throw some injectables uh-huh, in there. Uh-huh, some there. injectables in there and and that's probably like the most innovative approach to anti-aging. Is did we leave anything out? I think you got it. There's so many devices that you kind of make a potpourri of, you know, the between the neurotoxin and the fillers to for the wrinkles and the folds in the skin. And then you use the products at home and you can use lasers or IPL and the evoke for tightening. Then you're all covered there. And there's new things for cellulite out there, too, as well. Right. Yes. Yes, the newest thing on the market is something called Quo, Q-W-O. It's a new one that came out this past summer. Okay. And it's a great treatment to treat. It's Right now it's approved for the booty. Okay. Uh, but off-label it's been used for the thighs as well. But it releases the fibrous bands and it stimulates growth of new collagen, redistributing fat cells. So cellulite is those little pockets that you see the little uneven bumps that people have on their buttock and their thighs. A lot of it's genetic, but it's also weight related. But this is a great treatment. You come in, you get injections. It takes a few minutes and you do it three times, three weeks apart. Oh, nice. (laughs) And does it hurt? Do you get numb first? That's for needle phobic people like me. (laughs) 
So <laughs> that was a your... personal question. Yeah, so you're laying on your belly, so you don't see the needles coming, and it's super fast. Um, okay. So it is a needle, so you do feel it. Um, you can get some significant bruising, but for the most part, that goes away pretty quickly. And after you, you could do, you, there's no restrictions afterwards as well. You could sit as long as you want. You could go exercise after. There's no restrictions. That's well, I'm telling cool. you, there is so much new with lasers, yeah. devices, cellulite, neck tightening, skincare products. So there's just no excuse not to look good on the beach today. There right? Is no excuse. In June, <laughs> we're going to be bikini ready, we but we got to start now. We do. Yeah. That. We do. Well, this has been such a pleasure. I know I have learned a lot, and it was always um, good to hear what's new. And this has just been super exciting. Yeah, I got a wish list of stuff that I would like to do. And if people want to follow you or learn more about these treatments and devices and your practice, where can they find you, Dr. Sperling? Yeah, so online, it's Sperling Dermatology. Um, on Instagram as well, and my website, SperlingDermatology.com. And we'd be happy to uh, help anyone out there. We have three locations in Florham Park, Red Bank, and Montclair, all in New Jersey. And then just to throw in there, we also have a mobile spa. Ooh, wow. Nice. nice. So yeah. you're like a peels on wheels. <laughs> oh, yeah. I like that. Yeah, that was that was our COVID baby. That's what came out of COVID, um, bringing treatments to people's driveways, and that's a great option for people as well. So I last, last, love it. Last, get in touch with us. It's kind of a drive-through cellu lift. Yeah, gone. I I, I, I like this. that a lot. So you can get ready. You do not have an excuse to not be. No, no, beach no, 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 no. Ready. Absolutely not. Yeah. Well, and of course, you can always reach us at imageskincare.com. You can follow us on Instagram, on TikTok, on Facebook, and we'd love to hear from you. And make sure you tell your friends about these podcasts because there's so much information and such cool ladies that we get to meet and talk to, just like you, Dr. Sperling. So thank you so much. Thank you. This was a pleasure. And uh, take care. Have a great day. And bye, everybody. And make sure that you guys tune in and see what else is coming up on Skin Fluence. Thank you for listening to Skin Fluenced. If you are skincare obsessed just like us, don't forget to subscribe and rate this podcast. We also love hearing from our skincare fans. So send us your questions and comments to skinfluenced at imageskincare.com.